So my research group does a lot of experiments related to this issue of biophysics, so the physical properties of, of biological materials. And you can kind of group them into two sorts of themes. So first, a lot of the experiments we do, uh, they deal with the issue of, well, what are the physical properties of materials? Like if you take a cell membrane, how stiff is it? How much energy does it take to bend it into different shapes? The second thing, the sort of flip side of that is that you might wonder, well, can we do something with them? So we do experiments in which we, for example, take molecules from cell membranes and use them um, basically as tools to functionalize non-biological materials, like little microparticles. Some of the things we've been looking at recently, one has been to address the question of how are molecules oriented at a cell membrane. So you have a cell that needs to interact with other cells, it needs to have a, a molecule sticking out from its surface, and that molecule can be standing up or lying down, and whether it's standing up or lying down is important because if it's lying down and it's in this big forest of other things around it, it can't interact very well, whereas if it's standing up, it can. So to answer this question of what controls orientation, we've built artificial materials that mimic cell membranes that include natural molecules from membranes, and molecules that we and collaborators of ours have created that mimic various proteins that you find at cell surfaces. So using a variety of, of physical and optical techniques, we've been able to actually measure the orientation of molecules at these membranes of ours. And we find that even very slight perturbations of the uh, molecular structure of these molecules can influence whether you have a molecule that's standing up and lying down. So uh, as an example of some of the things we're doing that uh, deal with this issue of using membranes and other biomolecules as tools, we're taking little microparticles, like a millionth of a meter in size, um, that form actually the, the building blocks of a lot of very technologically important materials. So we're trying to control the interactions between these microparticles. And our approach is to take biological molecules and put them at the surface of these things, so to make membranes, in fact, at the surfaces of these little microparticles, and use those membranes to control the interactions between the microparticles. We've recently done this and, and have created a class of little glass beads with different membranes on them, where we can use the membranes to make the interaction between the glass beads repulsive or attractive or more repulsive or more attractive. So to be able to have sort of a toolbox of microparticle interactions that's made possible by the tremendous sort of variety and functionality that uh, nature's already come up with.